Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we're taking a look at the Jesh NC Pegasus. Before we get started, roll those credits and a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Direct Computers. If you're looking for a new gaming machine, desktop PC, laptops or corporate IT services, Direct Computers have what you need at a price you can afford. Take a look at the link in the video description and you can find the Honey Badger build, a PC that we have spec'd out specifically to focus on 3D design and 3D printing. For more information on Direct Computers, check them out in the link in the video description. Okay, so let me just start by saying that I have been doing resin printing on and off since the original Anycubic Photon came out. This machine has made me fall in love with resin printing again. I don't, I don't often do genuinely gushy, overly positive videos. This one may very well be one of those. So, before we get started, this machine is from Jesh NC. It is a 10.1 inch 8K resin printer. It's packed full of features, we'll go through those in a second. But the first and foremost thing is that this machine is going on Kickstarter. Now, Jesh NC are a relatively new company, and as a, as, as a result, I think their place is on Kickstarter to bring something like this to market. This is not like Make Anchor Make where they've already got 12,000 machines made and they're just using it as a way to fill their pre-orders. This to me is what Kickstarter was made for. Some talented engineers who have a great idea, who want to be able to get it out there and they need access to some funding. That being said, Kickstarter is Kickstarter, and you need to be aware of the risks. Plenty of research to do, plenty of things to read. I'm not going to bore you with it. We go through it every single time. You do Kickstarter at your own risk. I don't endorse Kickstarter as a platform. You make your own choices. Okay, so let's do a rundown of the specifications. So, build volume. 219 by 123 by 255. There will be an upgrade version that should you want a larger Z, I believe that larger Z goes up to 350. So there is a different machine you can get for that. The OS is Vlare OS, V-L-A-R-E. Um, it is not a Chi2 box board, nor is it a Chi2 box um, OS. It does mean that you have to use Vlare Slicer. We'll get to that in a moment. The XY resolution is 28.5 UMs. That is because this is an 8K machine. There really aren't that many 8K machines at this size that have this many features. And honestly, I'm just, I'm just in love with the machine. Right, okay, so so I have been resin, we've had this for about two weeks now. I have been printing with every bit of resin that I can find in every different area of the workshop. We've used some rigid resin from Iono, the red wax stuff. We've used some regular, um, we've used some regular any cubic gray resin, and we've used some of the Conja black rigid resin in this as well. All of it has printed flawlessly. We'll take a look at models in a moment. 
let's carry on with the features because we're not done. So the way that you get into the machine is it is a flip up lid. Everything stays out of the way. Um, you do have to bear in mind there's a little bit of overhang at the back here. Um, so your machine will need to be a little bit further forward so that you can flip it all the way up. Most importantly for me, you can turn your build plate sideways to drain it off. Yes. So many machines that you just cannot do such a simple thing with and you have to get like a plastic spatula to scrape off the extra still liquid resin, massive issue. That uses an NFEP. You have a heater for both the chamber and the vat, which will go up to around 30 degrees. Um, then you also have an auto refill system that works very similarly to the way a lot of the other auto refill systems work. But all you do is you take this little piece here, you slot that in, you fill up this 250 milliliter bottle. There will be other size options as well. This one's the 250. You can fill that up and it'll pour another two liters at uh, 250 milliliters of resin in there as well. The build plate comes factory leveled. You don't need to touch that. And I didn't even need to change my Z offset. My, my, my Z offset, even that was, was, was perfect when I got it out. There is something to be said about out of the box printing. It is a genuinely, for me, it is a genuinely different experience to what you normally what you normally get from um, from many printers there's a relatively low amount of setup on most resin printers anyway you normally have to level the bed you normally have to do the z offset pretty much other than that that's that's kind of it you might, might have to assemble a hood or something like that you don't assemble the hood you don't have to level the build plate you don't have to do the z offset it's all already done for you so first first and foremost love that then there's Vlair Slicer. So, um, so I've used a few different slicers. I've used Lychee, I've used Anycubics, I've used Cheetu Box, um, I've used Prusa Slicer in the past. Uh, there's two or three other ones that I've used as well. I've been, I've been resin printing for quite some time, although never on the scale that I have been printing with this machine. This machine, again, has made me fall in love with resin printing again. Vlair Slicer, everything you see here, um, which again, we'll go through some of the print qualities in a minute, everything I used auto supports and nothing else. I have done no changing to support settings. These are the support settings the machine came with. I did not add any of my own supports. These are all done with automatic supports. So again, We'll go through these in a minute and you'll take a look at what the quality looks like. Price point. So this machine, as I said, is going to launch on Kickstarter. The current price of this machine is 489 US dollars. Now to be clear, I believe that is an early bird price and I believe those are limited units. It is worth it is worthwhile going onto their Kickstarter, which I will put a link to the video description in and you can take a look at um, you can take a look at what options are available and combo packs and and everything else also take a look in the video description and you can take a look at our unboxing video where we take this machine out of the box we get it set up and we do its first print that was done on a live stream so there's no way we could have falsified anything it's just got out of the box Stick a model on it, bang, it prints straight out of the gate. There are some quality of life features that I love about this. First and foremost is that you can rotate the build plate. I can't stress how much that is just something that I don't understand why everybody else doesn't do it. I can't understand why it's even a feature that we discuss at this point. All they have done on the back here is they have got your regular slot and then they've rotated that so that you can just go like that and you can pop this back on. You do have to take the uh, the the knob out of the uh, out of the hole, but that is how you can that is how you can drain off all that excess resin that's sitting on your build plate. The build plate itself 
um, has an etched uh, sort of crosshatch design to it. I have had no issues with build plate adhesion. I've, and again, I can't believe I'm even saying this about resin, but as yet, I have had, touch wood, zero fails on this machine. I have printed full build plates. I have done full masks. This mask printed this way. So this printed like this. This printed perfectly. I have done full build plates to make sure that the build plate is actually level. It is. And again, I have used automatic supports. On the, uh, if we we're going back to quality of life stuff, on the power supply, this power supply actually screws in at the back so it can't just fall out or get knocked out or any of that stuff. Massive fan of that. I like the fact that this is a, a hood that takes up no extra space. Nice and solid. I, 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 I cannot, I, again, I cannot stress how much I am genuinely and overtly loving this machine. I always found that the aggro of going out and, and cleaning all your prints and making sure all the support settings are right and having to clean up the failures um, massively outweighed the benefits of, of running a resin printer, if I'm perfectly honest. I sometimes do heads and I sometimes do hands. Outside of that, I pretty much scrapped using resin. It just wasn't doing it for me. It was not, it just wasn't reliable. This has completely converted me. Now I know there are other machines out there that you just click and forget, right? I fully understand that, but I've not ever had one. All the machines I've had have required some level of fiddling and fettling every now and again. And I just don't have to with this. It's just got an NFEP on it so that when you pour the resin out, it's like it's hydrophobic and it just sort of, and it just, the resin just slides out. You haven't got to scrape it all to a corner and then it splashes everywhere and everything else. It's, it's just brilliant. It's one of those machines that when I, now that I have used it, I don't want to use other machines. I don't want to use other resin machines. And this is their first machine to market. On their website, they've got a couple of other machines that are basically things they're reselling. This is the machine they have designed. And this is their first go out of the gate. This reminds me a lot of the Bamboo Lab, which is that their first machine is so strong, so strong, that what are they gonna do next? This, at this price point, with this many features, 8K, 10.1 inch, auto refill, heated build chamber, heated vat, factory leveled, not a Cheeto board, open source software, a really good slicer. It is ticking so many boxes. And on top of all of that, it has a little carbon filter in here as well. So just underneath this, this right here is an active carbon filter that sits just above the fans that are here. And it, and it traps a lot of the, you know, it traps a lot of the particulates and everything else. I've been using rigid resin in my office and under normal circumstances, that would hum. Like it would give me a headache with the fumes that are in there. I have to leave the door open or whatever. With this active filter running, I have not noticed any smell whatsoever from, that, from this machine. I haven't noticed any. I'm not overly sensitive to resin. I'm not overly sensitive to smells. So you could easily debate that somebody who was, maybe they would smell something, but it has made a huge difference to me. Honestly, guys, I have not used a better resin machine. This includes the experience we had with the Photocentric Opus. It includes all of the resin machines we have used previously. Um, this machine is by far, right now, it is my favorite 3D printer, period. FDM included, and I, and I mean, I, I'm a plastic melter all day.
right? I, I have, you know, Sidewinders and Vorons and Rat Rigs and everything else. This machine right here is my favorite machine. It has produced my favorite prints. The quality is stunning. The reliability is insane. Like it is just a click and forget machine. And I'm so, so happy with it. Now, before I, I will promise, I promise I will show you the prints in a second. Before I show you that, one little caveat, little caveat. The machine that has been sent to me is an engineering sample. This is not the final machine. This is not the final power supply. The, mach the results I am showing you is with the machine that I have been given. And we will continue to show other prints and, and do other videos, check out our TikTok or our Instagram. We'll be posting a bunch of stuff about things we've done. Um, and you know, th there, was, there is no doubt there will be other revisions of this machine before it ships. But I just wanna be clear, what we have right here is an engineering sample. There's only two or three of these machines that are out in the world at all. We're one of the lucky people who has got one um, and, and what we have is an engineering sample. So with that in mind, let's get into prints. Okay, so let's start with the biggest. So this is the mask that I did. This is a biomechanical mask that I did in conjure black rigid resin. I've put some little loops in the side and a strap on the back. This is the black raw resin on the back. And this here is the level of detail that is in this mask. I did make a bit of a mistake. I made it a touch too thin. So in Vlare Slicer, you can hollow things automatically. And I, for whatever reason, decided I was gonna hollow it to one millimeter. And that was too thin. So you can see just there that there's actually a hole in the model. That has nothing to do with the printer. It was my fault, but this printed this way up. And I mean, you can't see any support scars. It's just, it's just absolutely brilliant. Then I moved on to Iono's Rigid Resin in a red wax. This here, let's get this to focus, there we go. This here, you can see the pores on the troll's skin. You can see all of his teeth. Absolutely a gorgeous model, look at that absolutely flawless really really happy with how this turned out came out absolutely stunning on the theme of detail this is another bust wait for this to focus there we go this is another bust we did this was a pre-supported file and i believe it is from arch villain games i'll look i'll dig out the link and put it in the video description and again absolutely beautiful details beautiful details in this nothing looks spongy everything is really crisp you can see we've got horns on the side of the face they all came out perfectly absolutely blown away with that we come on to the next one this one's had a coat of primer so this was also done in the, there we go, in the rigid resin. You can see that this comes in two parts and it was pre-supported this file. Come on, there we go. And you can see all the detail in the hair, all the detail in the armor, all of that. Pre-supported file, but printed amazingly. So then these models here, these are all parts of my, um, of my, Jewel of, of the uh, Back to the Future train. So these are little wheel support things. So if we can get that to focus, come on. There we go. You can see their beautifully crisp lines. Really, really nice. This is possibly the best one. The reason why this is the best one, so to be clear, this is basically hollow. I tried to print this on the mag on the photocentric opus five times and never could I get it to print. And the reason why I couldn't get it to print is that this prints at a 45 degree angle and this spring here is completely separate from the body of the of, of this sort of bell, of this dome. 
And then you also have this on top, this all prints as one. Auto supports, no playing about whatsoever, straight on the machine, printed first time. Absolutely amazing quality. We've got slightly larger pieces that were hollowed out like this. So this is part of the boiler system. So again, nice and flat back. A couple of drain holes in there just so that it would actually uh, so it would actually drain properly. But all of this again done really really nicely. This literally prints like this. So this is completely suspended on supports, as is this one. And it has done an absolutely, wait for it, blinding job at that. There's a few supports on the front there that still need to be uh, removed. But, um, but other than that, so a few supports on there and things that I need to, uh, that I need to do a little bit of clean up on. But absolutely beautiful prints. Absolutely stunning. So guys, let, let's, just, let's just start with, under normal circumstances, because this is both an engineering grade machine and, to be clear, um, it is also a Kickstarter, we would not normally give this a Honey Badger score, right? I am going to give this a Honey Badger score. This is, I think, one of the first 10 out of 10s that I've ever given on a machine. 10 out of 10. This is hands down the best resin printer I've ever used and possibly one of the best printers I've ever used. I cannot get over how much this has made me. I've done two and a half kilos of resin in two weeks because I cannot stop printing things on this machine. This is only a sample of what we've printed. There's been multiple other things that we've done as well that are just, they're in, they're in the process of being attached to other projects. This machine has made me fall in love with resin printing all over again. When the, when the Anycubic Photon first came out, the detail that you could get blew everybody away. You've got to bear in mind, that this is at a time where Ender 3s modified were really some of the better printers that you could probably get results on. You could buy yourself one of the original Ultimakers or a MakerBot or something like that. But the Photon came along and the quality was night and day. It was just, it failed quite a lot. The screen wasn't a high resolution. It was only 1080p at the time. It was RGB. This is obviously a mono screen. Um, I, I, I can't get over how far we've come in such a short space of time. The Photon only came out about four years ago, I think. And we have leaps and bounds in resin printing. You have larger machines that you can go out and buy. But for this price, there isn't a machine, in my opinion, that can match this. There are a few other machines that are on their way out that apparently um, will, will, will sort of match some of these features. But heated build chamber, heated vat, an auto refill, a rotating build plate, you know, not a Chi2 box board, which obviously Chi2 box has angered some of the community with their choices to add a pro version. Vlair slicer being open source and being genuinely actually really good again the auto supports on this model alone would be a reason to buy this and to use Vlair slicer i'm very very impressed with that with that um, slicer as well if i had any criticisms any at all if i was hunting for something that i didn't like there's only one thing and that's that the usb port is on the side and I want my USB port on the front. And that is me being as pedantic as I can get. I genuinely can't think of anything else I would want in a resin printer. I mean, a light, maybe? But what for? You know, it, uh, 
I am, I am genuinely and overtly blown away about the build quality, about the print quality, about the ease of use, about the price, about, you know, about everything. This is, this is the, one of the first, it may even be the first, 10 that we have given out on this channel. I am not endorsing Kickstarter as a platform. I'm not endorsing that. However, if there's a printer you're going to back this year, make it this one. Because once these start shipping, you won't be disappointed. I love this machine. It is great. I'm not going to say that this machine is flawless because I don't know the machine you're going to get and this is an engineering sample. But I can say that this is the best machine I currently own. I'm so excited that on this channel we've been chosen to, to represent this machine. But I'm also excited that we're finally part of a project that I can get excited about. Invariably, the projects that we get on the channel are cool. They are interesting. They are things that we like to be a part of. But it's not very often where we get to be a part of something we're genuinely excited to be a part of. And that when we get it, it hasn't been an absolutely savage letdown. This machine performs at the same level as machines that are five times its price. This performs better than our photocentric opus, certainly. The, 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 the quality of prints that we get, the variety of resins you can use, the ease of the slicer, it's all there. Everything you could want from a 3D printer, it's there. I'm going to stop there, guys, because otherwise I'm just going to start repeating myself on how much I love this. And I'm pretty sure I've already done that two or three times already. Take a look at the link in the video description. That will take you to the Kickstarter page. I highly recommend that you go and do that, that you go and check these guys out. There's a link in the video description to the Discord page. Take a look at that. That will show you some of the uh, that will show you some of the prints that we're doing. We're very active on the Discord. If you've got questions, if you've got specific models you want to see printed, let us know, and we'll do what we can to make short videos about it and bung those onto TikTok or onto YouTube Shorts or Instagram or whatever, and we'll get we'll get those out for you so you can see what this machine is doing. But my God, it is good. Right. Thank you very much for joining us, guys and dolls. Thank you very much, Direct Computers, for sponsoring this video. Take a look at the link in the video description for more information about the services they offer. And we'll see you on the next video. Happy printing.